Hi, everybody. This is a very quick pop-up live this afternoon because I'm just about to use, well, I'm just about to use this. It's my Army Painter Wet Palette, which I ordered a week ago. And I bought it for two reasons. One is because obviously buying this is going to turn me into a totally boss figure painter, clearly. But also I wanted to see how it how it works. And also for the long term is to see how for people on a budget, you can create your own. Now, I paid, I think it was just short of £20 for this. And the reason I got this one, I'm not the other one which Spencer bought, the name of which escapes me, is that this one has slightly cheaper refills. So what I'm going to do is we're going to open it up and have a look at it and kind of take you through it. So, <coughs> excuse me, what do we get in the box? Well, first of all, there is the palette itself, which I've got to say is beautifully presented comes with a little sleeve here, which an elasticated sleeve, no less. And that's a lid for your paint brushes. Ah, oh, there we go. So that's, essentially, that's very, very simple. It's just that and that. And you put your sponge in there and then your um, hydro sheets, as they call them, and then that's it. So that's essentially the meat and potatoes for that part. It's beautifully finished, got to say. Very nicely done. And I do like this elasticated uh, strap here, which will keep things intact. And then we have this, which is the sponge and the hydro sheets as well. So essentially, you get two sponges, which just kind of fold out really. And those are the, you wet those and then pop them into the tray. And then these are your hydro sheets, which are pretty much, they're kind of like wax paper. Now you can get grease proof paper and you can get wax paper, but wax paper tends to work a little bit better. But anyway, you get 50 sheets of those, which let's just say you use this once a week enough to last you a year okay you use it twice a week is enough to last you half a year six months and these are about eight nine pounds for a refill pack of 50 so that's that's pretty good value you also get a little leaflet which tells you how to use it so there we go soak the hydro foam in water put it in the tray and then you add the sheet get rid of the bubbles start painting and also shows you how to use it, storage, transportation, etc., etc., etc. The usual advertising bump that comes with us as well, which is always very, very interesting, because there's always something that you come across which, because it's outside of your usual sphere of interest, might become your new favourite tool. So there's some interesting goodies here. So I should have a good read of that later on when I've uh, once I've had my lunch. And it will be a short one today because lunch is in the oven. So um, uh, I've never tried their paints, but there we go. Some interesting tools they do on the back there. And then they also give you a painting guide as well, which is pretty neat. So, I mean, this is this is easily a kind of booklet you pay five pounds for. So it just kind of takes you through primers. And base coating, putting down basic colours, washes, metal effect. Absolutely fantastic. I mean, for, for beginners, this is really top dollar stuff. Yeah, really impressed with that. That's really, really nicely done. And like I say, they also do videos as well. And, and then finally, at the bottom of the tray here, we have... Da, 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 da. We have um, a thing on their paint. Another little catalog of their hobby products. Including some diorama stuff, which is rather, rather interesting. And then a little packing step. Thank you. 
which is rather nice. So that is essentially it. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna put this fire this up in anger today because I do have over here. I still have Sunny and Cher to finish off for my Airfix beach buggy. Now I've already given these a base coating of um, kind of basic flesh tones. So I'm going to go in there and just do some very basic highlights and, and low lights. Literally, I'm going to throw technique to the wind today and just try some ideas, try crazy stuff, see what happens. So I've got to say that as far as, he says, hitting his head on the camera, as far as this goes, I think this is a sound investment. I'm really impressed with it. I really like the, the build quality. I like the, the amount of stuff they give you, you, the booklet and everything. So uh, big thumbs up from me. Now, like I said, I did buy this, but I'm also going to be looking to see how, as I said, for people on a budget, how you can make something like this using bits and pieces you pick up from your local kind of like pound shop or whatever. So that's it. Like I say, very, very short video today. I need to get on with some modeling and I need to go on with some modeling, long story short. So on that note, uh, just see if we've got some comments here. Um, uh, hello, hello, hello. Um, uh, red grass, that was it. Thanks, Stan. Here, red, um, Stan says, can't figure out why the red grass is so expensive. Check out the army painted dry brushes as well. Looks like the one Spencer got for Christmas. Thanks for the tips, Stan. I certainly will. Um, and I'm looking forward to, like I say, using this in uh, in action this afternoon. So on that note, we will be back tomorrow evening with the Sunday service. We might do some updates during the day on um, photo updates on today as I got on with these figure paintings. And I've also got the ICM Laffley to build, which I'm usually enjoying. I really, really am enjoying building that at the moment. So on that note, just remains for me to say, uh, stay safe, stay out of trouble, watch out for cake. And we'll uh, we'll see you tomorrow evening for the Sunday service. So bye for now.